Let's get back to the field cues where senior reporter Fifi Lazilama is standing by. I'm sure he's by an NNPC um, filling station in Lagos. Phil, what's the situation there? How much is Phil selling for? Well, Nifa, we feel is selling here at NNPC at 998 Naira. And I'm at Ogunusi Road in Ojodu area of Lagos State. And if you can see, there's a lot of queue. A lot of people are not happy um, with the situation, as we have seen in the, fir the first time I came on air. A queue inside the field station, but the product is available. There's a queue in these other parts of Lagos State as well, this part of the field station, and it goes all the way down to Amali Second Gate. Uh, this is the situation many people are not happy with. Many people have spoken to earlier. Um, in this area, so they spent hours, man hours here, um, queuing for fuel. If you look, my um, camera can just zoom. It goes all the way down there. I'm sure Nifemi is uh, conversant with this road, and you understand the level of traffic that this costs uh, because people are queuing for the product. Um, there's an NNPC across this one, but they are not selling at this point. It's empty. Um, I think there's no fuel there. But here there's the product, and um, everyone is just here trying to get um, the fuel to buy. Of course, um, it's sold at 998 Naira. So, Phyllis, I know there are a couple of other filling stations around that axis. Are they selling, and how much are they selling for? Well, only for me, a few are selling, and the rest are not, um, possibly because they don't have the product. And the ones selling are selling um, above a thousand naira, slightly above a thousand naira, like one one thousand thirty naira, one thousand fifty naira, slightly above a thousand naira, as we can see everywhere. Um, the the Everybody, the, the frustration is just for people. It's in the air. Um, the, the queue is quite, quite, quite much as, like for instance, people are moving slowly, one car per time. Um, that's to create more space for people to move in and get the product. But by the time you get in, you still spend a lot of time trying to uh, get the product to buy. Uh, it's quite frustrating for people who are going to work, having to spend about uh, three, four hours here trying to get the product it's a lot of manpower that's been wasted here in Ifemian. so it's it's quite disheartening for many people who just want to rush and get the product and move on but here, here again um, if they have to rush and get the product it means they have to get it at a higher price in another fuel station hence the need for a lot of people to come to um, an NNPC here or any other fuel station selling uh, possibly at the same price as NNPC or slightly above the price NNPC is selling earlier the filling station I was in is selling at 996 naira per liter here selling at 998 naira per liter that's two naira uh, above NNPC's price well, that's um, a little bit of change to save if you are buying um, a lot of water to fill your car. But sometime during the many first scarcities we've had this year, there was a ban on selling the product into jerry cans. Can you tell if that ban is still in force? Me, that ban is still in place, but we see uh, what we have seen in several few stations visited is the fact that um, these fuel attendants allow this to happen. That's because if you have to buy in your generator, you have to bring the tank with you to buy. But a lot of uh, uh, people are just bringing uh, jerry cans in their cars to buy uh, the product so that they can take home. And uh, I know that uh, sometime uh, early this year, the Federal Road Safety Corps had said that once he catches people, um, if they stop anybody and they see petroleum products in a jerry can in your car, they will empty it immediately so you can go. That's to ensure that uh, the car is safe, the person driving is safe, and the, 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 the state is also safe, the roads are safe as well. But what we are seeing is that uh, in several filling stations, people are regularly buying in big jerry cans, uh, sometimes 20 liters, 30 liters, just to store at home because um, they are not, uh, they don't know what the inevitable, what the future holds for them. So they have to buy and store at home, which is more dangerous because a lot of times they are storing in a very enclosed area and the keg is tightened. And so by the time it, 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 it can swell and bust and it, it's combustible, uh, any spark can lead to a fire and so that's why the federal government and the government has said uh, do not buy in in, in jerry cans because it's not advisable it's not safe for human beings phil it's sunny you have to be on a long queue price uh, petrol is pricey when you return you probably have to meet with a mental health coach so that we can 
talk about your mental health. <laughs> Thank you for the update there. Fearful is a lot of life for us in Lagos. Well, in all the stories now, police, a police inspector